Nowadays, if you ask me, I, I don't wanna, I don't want to have arms. I'm just happy, really happy with who I am, and maybe because of freestyle, I'm more happy because it's a big family for me. my friends and the Polish freestyle community. Uh, I am really happy to be here on Super Bowl. My name is Juan Roberto, but everybody calls me Juanro. I'm from Chile. Uh, actually, I'm from Santiago, which is the capital of Chile. And I am 30, 32 years old. Uh, I'm gonna be 33 uh, in this Super Bowl. So I'm gonna have a big birthday with big freestylers. And I've been practicing freestyle for a really long time. Uh, 16 years old, so that's half my life. I'm really old school guy here in, in freestyle, and I am one of the pioneers in freestyle football in Chile. So, yep, that's about it. I, I started as a hobby, and now it's part of my profession, but I also do motivational talks in schools most of the time. I have a physical condition or a physical disability which is called focomelia. I don't know how to pronounce in English, probably focomelia. <laughs> uh, so the blood does uh, stop uh, when the baby is in the, in the stomach <laughs> of the mom and the, the blood doesn't get to your arms. So I, don't de I didn't develop my arms. So that's my case because there are other cases that uh, people don't develop their legs, for example. And it was really tough at the beginning because uh, sometimes I even cried, I remember, and I, because I wanted to have two arms. Like in Christmas, I pray for like Santa Claus to bring arms. <laughs> but afterwards I just realized that I could do stuff with my feet, so that's, that's why I'm always barefoot. I, I don't like wearing shoes, and I freestyle for so long without shoes, but in competitions I always use shoes. And because I started doing things with my feet, uh, I realized that I actually didn't need arms. And I think that was the first moment I realized that I didn't re even I didn't care because I did so many things with, with my feet. And I really like who I am. Like I wouldn't nowadays. If you ask me, I I don't wanna. I don't want to have arms. I'm just happy, really happy with who I am. And. Maybe because of freestyle, I'm more happy because it's a big family for me. For the last five years, I've been working as a motivational speaker. Uh, even though most of the talks are in companies, like big companies, I like to inspire kids around 15 years because uh, it's a really good age. They, they just need more motivation. They, they don't really know what to do when they get out of school. Sometimes they give up, so they are looking for their idols. I don't know, they watch a lot of football, maybe Messi, Ronaldinho. So when I go and do the talk, the best part is when I actually juggle the ball. I do freestyle football in like uh, a little showcase. The main concept I talk about in schools is about the importance of diversity and inclusion. Nobody is superior, Every, everybody is different. I, I really loved playing football when I was young, but it was only at the age of 16 where I saw freestyle. Before, I only juggled like doing records with my head, my knees, or doing sit downs, but no tricks. But then I saw Ronaldinho. Everybody knows Ronaldinho, right? <laughs> And I saw a Nike commercial where he was doing around the world. And after that, I started practicing freestyle for like maybe two years or three years, maybe two years. And then I saw the Tosani video, which most of the freestylers know. And just my mind exploded. 
and that's when I really got into doing tricks and first I copied tricks like everybody else but with the time and the years that came I started trying I started doing my my own tricks that, that's really important I think because if nobody creates new tricks uh, the sport doesn't evolve so now I I mainly focus on doing freestyle for fun, not many competitions. Sometimes they call me to judge competitions in Chile, which I'm glad, but maybe this year and next year I'm going to start into competition again because even though it's a little bit, um, um, it's a little bit of pressure and sometimes you get too anxious or uh, nervous, it's always good. You'll always learn something from battles. So I, I say that if you're a freestyler and you haven't competed before, come to Super Bowl and compete, no fear. <laughs>
when you watch too many battles in Super Bowl, somehow it's some later battles, like after the fifth, the fifteenth battle of the after the battle number forty, it gets a little bit repetitive. So I think if you had more creativity in competitions, it will be better for everybody. So when I started doing freestyle in 2002, that's a long time ago, um, freestyle was only about basic tricks um, around the world, uh, maybe a little bit harder, Tosani, uh, Mitch, or just putting the, the ball in your mouth. That was like the best trick back then. But with years, like as everybody else, everything else, it, it evolves and it evolved in a good way, I think. Like today, nowadays, you see like tricks one year and then the next year, uh, there are so many different tricks. So everything goes, evolves really quick. In, I think in the first year was really slow, not because of talent itself, but because of social media. You didn't have YouTube, you didn't have Facebook, you didn't have Instagram. And nowadays, like a guy from Japan does a trick and the next day you see guys from Poland, uh, Sweden, Sweden and Denmark doing the same trick. So the sports with social media evolves much quicker. And I really like the variety of tricks now because back then there were only like five tricks. Uh, now it's much, much better. And the future of freestyle, uh, I don't really know. Like. I think it, it will always evolve, it will always get big, but I really like it as an underground sport. It's same as breakdance. Breakdance, breakdance for me, I really like it. I go to breakdance classes too. And breakdance, breakdance is from like the 70s, but nobody really, not, you see like people in the street, they always practice football, not breakdance. So it just has this underground feeling. I think I want freestyle to grow everywhere, but it's always good to keep it just underground and I think the future of freestyle in, in concerning tricks is always going to evolve but really fast and it's, every year it's going to be much difficult to get impressed by tricks uh, that's bad too but it's the way it's going to happen and from year to year everything changes for example some years before everybody was doing Jordan style and now everybody's doing Erlen's transition and I don't know before everybody was doing San Garcinero Carousel or Josuke style so I think sometimes when you win a tournament everybody starts copying that and that is like the trend so who knows who wins this year and next year everybody everything is gonna change and I think that every year I think this is good People before were talking about uppers, lowers and sit downs and now I think it's everything like acrobatic, transitions, b-boy, uh, more like freestyle. So it, I think it went back to the root again. Uh, so I really like that. <laughs> it's good to practice freestyle because you get better, you know your, yourself, you push your limits, you're just a better version of yourself. So keep freestyle my friends.